so the random images is working and searching is working but we have the issue is for every keystroke we are triggering the api call so if i search for dog doc we have a three keystrokes so three api calls we don't want this one how to solve it we have this handle input function where we are setting the search term and for every setting of the search term that means for every change in the search term we are triggering this api call so we need to restrict it how we can restrict first we need a timeout that means we are going to trigger this set search term or hitting the api call after some time so to use that set timeout it's very easy set timeout and timeout after one second and let's search for it let's try and if i type something we are having this problem it says value of null because initially this timeout is in the memory and at that time there was no target so that's why it says e dot target dot value to be null of value i can do one thing i can say text is equal to this one and giving the text okay so now once again try clear this and i can say cat so we have a three or four calls <laughs> that's we, we we need to prevent okay so that's not working because every time we hit the keyboard every time with every key press it's creating a different timeout so what we need actually we need to say timeout is equal to this one and before that we can say clear timeout and the timeout name which is timeout okay let's try once again so i, I can say cat and this time it says timeout before initialization obviously we are trying to clear the timeout before it is initialized so in, to solve this issue we can simply create a state and i can call this state typing timeout and it's very important to have it as an empty string now what i will do i will move this timeout into the set typing timeout after completing it so set typing timeout is actually the typing uh, timeout this one and now instead of clearing this one i'm going to clear typing timeout so first time it will say typing timeout clear okay that's a simple string so there is no issue it's created before that but after that we have a real timeout let's try this one clear it i can say cat and you can see after one second we have only one api call now what if i type slowly i can say d o g then also we have this that is because after every keystroke we need to wait for one second to hit the api call if we again press before the one second then the old timeout will clear out and at that time the search term will not get changed so that's how if i change it to 500 then if i type slowly like t o g you can see we have a three uh, two actually for that do was fast <laughs> so this is how actually you can create the debounce effect this is called a debounce effect this means you are only triggering after some time so let's search for mike okay that's good and michael jackson you saw that i have written this much of thing and the query and the api call was just one i typed michael jackson and obviously we are not getting that michael jackson photo i don't know why anyways <laughs> we just have the one call so this is how you can create the debounce effect 
now since we have created something which is reusable why not create a custom hook for this and we can call this hook as use debounce.js okay so create a function this is a normal function and move this state from here to here also we need all these things like here and let's create a function called debounce and then paste it and then finally return this function called debounce since we have returned that function we can use that custom hook const debounce is equal to so d bounce is equal to use debounce and then we need to see what we need inside this debounce first we need the time so i can say wait wait time which is wait but before that wait we need that function to be triggered so i can say func the function and this will be like func okay and now let's try so debounce and first we need to give a function so it says function set search term and the term is actually the text and the time is 1000 let's try this is it going to work it says use state obviously use state yeah now it's done once again let's try and i can say dog and only one triggering one api call that's cool and uh, let's modify this little bit one thing is that we can give a weight for 1000 as a default one in that case we don't have to give this here every time also you can see we are just calling a function so why not move it as a arrow function in inline function cool so this is our custom hook which is for use debounce and we are using it here very very neat and clean let's final try and then we finish this chapter okay so cat only one that's very very efficient and i'm very happy with our progress we are creating our custom hook reusable library we are creating for ourselves very very nice 